William Hill sponsors Joshua versus Molina on Sky Sports Box Office. Jose Burton's been waiting for these big fights for a long time. Obviously, it was a fight that was scheduled for um, a couple of months previously. Didn't work out. Frank Buglioni picked up a cut in preparation for that fight. We've seen Buglioni in big fights, challenging Chudinov, challenging Kamitsky, and now he gets a chance to move up and change for the British title at 175 pound weight division. Frank, uh, we've seen the, the various clips going around. You look in great shape and confident ahead of Saturday night. Yeah, well, this is, uh, this is what I love. I love boxing and uh, every part of it, the training, the build-up, uh, the weighing. Uh, it's, all, it's all just a great opportunity for me and I'm relishing it. And um, I'm going to go in there and, and really put, put the skills to the test. I've, uh, I've trained the hardest I've ever trained. Uh, I moved up to light heavy, so I feel very strong, very confident. My sparring has, has shown that and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to taking that belt. One thing that surprised me a little is that the bookies have made Jose Burton a clear favourite in this fight. Does that surprise you as well? Um, well, I mean, he's the unbeaten guy and um, it's kind of my, my second fight at light heavy, so I'm the unknown. Um, but after this fight, I, I certainly won't be the unknown for his domestic clashes. And what do you take from, from the amateur stuff? I, mean, I saw a couple of clips with the promotional video. Do you take the mental edge going into this fight or is that... Yeah, of course. Um, I, it was eight years ago. Yeah, I mean, your, your mentality doesn't really change. Um, I, I've, I've seen Jose firsthand, he's obviously a skillful fighter, um, but when the going gets tough, I've seen him quit. And, um, when have you seen me quit? I see you quit when I nearly knocked you out in our first fight in the amateurs. I also you see you quit out. every you time we was training on the GB okay. trials. I'm going to knock you back. On the GB trials, how did you get on? How did you get on the GB trials? When we went to the GB trials, yeah. Who's that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Answer the question. How did you get on in the GB trials? You was on the GB team for ages. No, we all went for the trials ourselves. All right, Me, so you're, you're you, a go -go and me. Kurt Garvey. Right. Who won me the and Go-Go got on the squads. Who, who won the ABAs when you got on I'm me? just saying. Who got on the squads? You got on the squads, but I won. Jose, all you did was walk around with your head down saying, I'm ill, I couldn't be here, I've got an injury. Excuses after excuses after excuses. I had excuses. two days notice. And it was a fitness test. Well, there you go, there's the yeah. excuses. Two days notice and it was fitness That's what test. I was asking for, okay. the excuses. Thank All you. right then, we'll see who has the excuse on the night. How's that, Burton? A big fight for you, and uh, this is now a chance for you to really establish yourself as a top 175 pound fighter, and uh, we know you're bang up for this fight. I'm bang up for this fight, I can't wait. He pulled out with five weeks to go um, on the last time with a nick. The tiniest nick. If I had that same cup, I'd be still fighting that night. But you would, because you ain't got the experience. You would have gone in there fighting and you got stopped on top. Every time you've stepped up, you've been beat. You've been knocked out. You got beat off a chudden off, who's a small man. And um, Who no one's going near. But carry on. Who no one's going there. He's too small. He's too small. And um, Lee Markham, he, he would have beat you. If you wasn't such a big name, a ticket seller, right? He would have got the win over you. But. You can sell the tickets, that's why we've got to draw. Well, I hope you're getting your confidence okay, from my yeah. past results. That's yeah, what I hope. Well, that's it, yeah. If you're drawing your confidence yeah. from my past results, yeah. You've had three different trainers way. trying to get you out of bad habits. If you can't get out of your bad habits with tips, you can't get out of bad habits. Your bad habit is getting hit, and I'll knock you spark out, guaranteed. Well, let's see it. <laughs> is that the way this fight ends? <laughs> this, this is the way the fight ends. Couple of rounds, if he chooses to box, he'll get outboxed and he'll get knocked out. And if he chooses to fight, watch. I hope he really does. He'll get knocked out early, so... You want to hope it's two rounds, because I've seen your stamina, mate. You see my stamina? Okay. Let's, let's hope for your, your sake, stamina comes into it, eh? Final predictions, Frank Ruglione? I think he'll quit. I think he'll quit inside about eight rounds. I think he's a muppet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't wait for this fight. I think he's a wonderful fight. Two very, very good young fighters and, and may the best man win on the night. A young man who I can't wait to see back in action has had a, a particularly frustrating uh, few months, obviously, since the huge Carl Frampton fight back in this city. He's Scott Quigg. Obviously broke his jaw in that fight. Um, a man that dedicates his entire life to the sport of boxing, and when that was taken away from him...